Hey, it's me, Jeremy John, with Kokanee Kid Fishing here with your guys' weekend report. Hey, first off, I'd like to apologize. I have been slacking. So uh, I've been super busy. I uh, had a couple weddings that I went to, and then this last weekend I was hanging out with my brother, Del Stevens. He's not really my brother, but he's kind of a brother from another mother. Uh, and we did some buoy 10 fishing, which was absolutely fantastic. And then uh, this weekend, we're doing the Lipstick Salmon Slayer Derby up at Buoy 10. Uh, it's an absolute fantastic fun time, uh, getting the women out there to uh, catch some fish, have fun, party. Um, so I'm doing that this weekend, and then next weekend I'll be taking family up to Odell. So let's talk about what's going on this weekend. Uh, we got two negatives and one positive. The two negatives are, it's going to be hot. Uh, it's going to be really hot, and number two, it's going to be smoky. So um, one thing I'd wanted to point out is people that have uh, like lung conditions and stuff, going up to a lake like Odell at a high elevation plus the smoke um, can sometimes be a little bit of an issue. Um, so just keep that in mind, and then also the heat. Make sure you guys are bringing lots of water, keeping hydrated. Um, and even though it's not going to be direct sun, it's going to be filtered sun, you can still get sunburnt up the quazoo. So make sure you guys are applying some suntan lotion and then washing that off your hands. You do not want that on your gear whatsoever. So uh, make sure you're taking the appropriate um, you know, measures so that you guys don't get sunburnt and you stay hydrated. The only positive we have this weekend is there is absolutely no wind. So uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday... Looks like the wind's gonna stay off the lake both west side and east side to way past one o'clock. Um, I think on Saturday, it's not even supposed to pick up till five. So no wind this weekend, which is uh, is awesome because I can handle any conditions, rain, snow, sleet. I hate wind, it blows. So uh, no wind, but you will have heat and smoke. So let's talk about our lakes. Uh, first off, Green Peter is just clobbering fish. So if you wanna take kids out, have fun, go crush a whole bunch of fish. I would definitely check Green Peter out. Fish again, they are on the small side, but everybody I've talked to has just been absolutely clobbering them. Um, I would stay down by the dam. Uh, that area down there should be stocked full of fish, but from what I'm hearing, there's fish all throughout that whole lake system. So um, that is a give me. Um, Palina has been cooling off a little bit. Uh, I haven't been getting some fantastic reports uh, about Palina, but the guys that know what they're doing are still catching their limits up at Palina Lake. But the lake I want to talk about is Detroit Lake. Wow, is that lake picking up. Um, I've got a buddy, uh, Bernie, from Bait and Weight Fishing Charters. Um, he has absolutely been clobbering them up there, um, down by the blowout arm and super deep. So this is definitely a downrigger show. Um, he's been fishing below 90 feet, so 90 to about 110. Uh, so if you guys are long lining, there's absolutely no way you're going to get down that deep. This is where downriggers, this late in the season when those fish are dropping deep to try to stay in cool water, uh, this is where your downriggers come in super handy. But super nice sized fish. Uh, he's been catching them on the Wonder Bread um, and charging those up with a UV light. And then also the brand new uh, PPE, which is a pink purple eliminator. Uh, that lure is not available on the market yet, but I am going to give some away today. So I haven't done that yet. And the winner for uh, the uh, last promotion that we did is Barbara Gifford. So Barbara, if you hear this video, um, I'm going to send you a instant message on uh, Facebook. Um, we'll get those shipped out to you. You're going to get three silver and three gold. Um, but my buddy Bernie has been absolutely clobbering the fish up at Detroit Lake on those. So um, I don't know when they're going to get released. I'm hoping maybe next week. So I will do a uh, post on Facebook uh, letting know, you guys know when those are available. But they're basically a pink and a purple uh, micey bug. Um, and they've been working really, really well. So let's talk about Odell. Odell, people are struggling a little bit, but the guys that know what they're doing um, have been having some uh, really good luck up there. So uh, it's still a, a, a fishery that you can go to and catch some fish. Um, I know if you want to catch a lot of fish, uh, I would fish off of um, Princess Creek, kind of out towards the middle, maybe a little bit west. And then also the viewpoint has a lot of fish. Most of those fish are going to be next year's fish. So they're going to be a little bit on the small side. 
I do know that there is a Kokanee Derby going on at, up at Odell. So if you're going to be involved in that Kokanee Derby, um, you're looking for five big fish. I would fish that lake a little bit different. Um, I would hang out on the edges. Um, right out in front of Shelter Cove would be a really good spot for some big fish. Over by Trapper Creek, way in the shallows would be a really good spot for big fish. Um, over by Serenity Bay, um, in the bay a little bit, or maybe off of Roosevelt Point, uh, that would be another good area to try to catch some bigger fish, or all the way on the far east end of the lake. Um, that is another area where you're going to start seeing some fish staging up for the spawn. They might not be showing the first signs of the spawn, but if it was me, I'd be trying to target those bigger males um, for the weigh-in. A couple other tips that I would give you. I would have two coolers on your boat when you're fishing this derby. I'd have one cooler that you're just going to throw fish in that you know you're not going to weigh. They're not even close to the size. And then I'd have another cooler that I would have an ice slurry in it which is water with ice, but the fish can still swim in it. And you're gonna have to manage that throughout the day. So you're gonna have to drain a little bit of water, put a little bit more ice in it, and keep the fish that are possible weigh-in fish in that cooler. Um, they will retain their weight a little bit better um, in that slurry. The other thing that I like doing in a derby is I have tags for the fish in different colors. Um, you can buy them at Cabela's, but they're basically little tags that go in the fish's lip with a little bit of a different color and you have a dry eraser um, pad that has the different colors. So I'd write black and the weight. You're gonna wanna weigh those fish as you're putting them in the cooler. And then at the end of the day, you're also gonna wanna weigh those fish again. Sometimes they can drop weight. Sometimes they can gain a little bit of weight, but that little bit of weight can make a lot of difference in a kokanee uh, tournament. I don't think that this derby is gonna be as close um, as a lot of them are because I think some people are going to catch some of those um, pre-spawn males but um, just having that little extra weight and taking the time to manage your fish uh, keeping the ones in that you know aren't even close in a different cooler than the ones that you know you're going to weigh and keeping those in, a, in an ice slurry is going to help you out dramatically out at that derby so hopefully this information helps you guys out stay safe i will be up at odell lake next weekend so i will uh get a better uh picture and give you guys some reports on what's going on wonder breads are in stock so you can order those and hopefully we have the pink purple eliminator available next week so guys stay safe and don't forget barbara gifford you won so you're going to get some lures that nobody has. So uh, PM me on Kokanee Kid Fishing on, uh, on uh, Facebook, and uh, I will message you uh, as well, and we'll get those out to you ASAP. Hope you guys have fun. Stay safe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.